never, never, never ask for advice. Never. Never ask anybody for advice. Never ask for help. Never ask for any guidance. You have a compass inside of you that's already set to guide you where you need to go. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We have a choice to either uplift somebody or put someone down. You either have the choice to step towards your goals and dreams or step away going into temporary things. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. When you fail, try again and again and again. I want to ask you, how are you? What heaviness are you carrying? What tears do you hold back? What pain, what fears are kept inside? You don't have to hold on to those fears. You just take one step at a time. Not to say that one day these fears are just going to completely disappear, but can you forgive those who've hurt you? Because that's when healing starts. Every time someone puts you down, will you make a decision to bring somebody else up? And there's a storm above you and this storm represents the situations in your life and you don't tell anybody what you're going through because first of all they wouldn't understand and second of all they can't even help you anyway you're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end are you not still here you are still here. You don't have to do this alone. But hold on to that person who you think might help you. And imagine them right now saying that they can't stop the storm right now, but they will hold you and keep you warm until the storm passes. Because when they hold you, the storm's still there, but it's okay because they're with you all the way. Think of your friends. You look them in the eye and you know maybe that they're, they're not really that happy. You go to parties and you just look them in the eye. And you know that they're hurting as well. Everybody's trying to cover up. Can you lift somebody today? Make the choice today to do something good. Hold on to that hope. Tears clean the windows of your soul. You've lived a life dominated by doubt and fear. How do you step into bravery? Step. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. 
scared of what we don't know. And there is only one way to learn and to know, and that is to confront that fear. You have to step, you have to go. And this simple action, this simple attitude, How do you overcome fear of failure, or fear of success, or, or fear of fear itself? You step. And how do you face the fear of the unknown? You step. Don't wait anymore. Don't think anymore. Don't plan anymore. Don't contemplate anymore. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Don't rationalize anything else. Instead, be aggressive. Take action now. to do is believe you have to believe in yourself believe that you can do it believe that a place at the top is waiting for you if you are ready to work for it to sacrifice for it to breathe it to live for it every step you take must be with intention and directed towards your goal when you will understand that you will be able to work with everything inside you with passion, drive, and power. People often ask what the secret to success is, as if there is only one. There isn't one secret. There's not one magic button you push and then overnight you become successful. It's a process of hard work and mastering your craft. It's the dedication to stick it out and find a way to reach your goal no matter how big the obstacles in your way. If you really want to know the secret to success, and you have to have it in one sentence, find a way. Because if you are truly committed to find a way, you can have anything in this world. Find a way to master the skill needed that will put you in the top 1% of earners. Find a way to read more every day, to learn more every day. Find a way to start that business. Find a way to get funding. Find a way to leverage your business. Find a way to dominate. Find a way. There is always a way if you want it bad enough. But do you? Do you want it bad enough? Because most people make excuses. Don't be most people. Don't make excuses. Don't stop until you find a way. Dedicate yourself to your dream. All you have to do is believe in yourself. Don't quit. Don't stop. Keep going. What is your approach to life? What are your goals, and can you even define them? Can you see your dreams? Do you even have a dream? A man without a dream is like a dog without a sense of smell. It doesn't know where to go, nor where to start. So go out there, or go within, and search for a dream. Something you would like to be, something you would like to have in your life or something you would like to achieve. You don't have to start big. No one expects you to change the world. Instead, go after something that you really want. Something you desire. Something that can push you to get up in the morning. And once you get it done, go after your next dream, your next goal. You see, your life is a movie. It is your story. You are the main character, you are the director, you are the screenwriter. Now imagine watching a movie without a plot. 
without a meaningful story. You can start watching, but you'll soon get bored and become frustrated because the story never gets to any point. We all have to live our life, so you might as well make it an interesting and adventurous story where the hero overcomes hardship and pain, obstacles and problems. In the end, he gets what he wants. He succeeds to realize his dream. So find a dream that's worth working and fighting for. Be yourself and be happy. Like my grandmother used to say, if you're happy, happy things will happen. Never give in. Never accept defeat and always smile, because don't forget, your life is your dream. You are the hero in this movie, you write the script, and it is also you who determines the outcome. There is no point ever in giving up, and no matter what happens, just stay on track, because you already know the ending of your story. Now I want you to take this attitude and live your life without being scared, without being in a bad mood, because that ain't gonna get you anywhere. Be confident, be brave, be joyful, and let all the world's wrath come upon you while you stand solid like a rock in the storm and smile towards your fate. Because no outer power can ever do you any harm once you have realized that you determine the outcome of your story. What happens when you wake up in the morning? How do you feel? Good? Bad? If so, how come? Next time you wake up, just lay there a bit longer. Close your eyes and focus in on your dream. How would the star of your movie wake up? With a smile and with a hunger to go after his dream. Be him, be this hero. Be this great version of yourself that doesn't live from day to day, giving over the power over his life to someone else, but instead live for a purpose, live determined. You see, your dream is already a reality. Just because you can't see it yet physically, it doesn't make it less real. Once you have fully accepted the realness of it, it will materialize into your physical world. Then others will finally also see your dream and won't call it that any longer. They will call it fact. So believe in yourself. Believe in your dream. Get up and start living. Start creating and start loving. Be the best version of yourself. Not tomorrow, but today. And with every breath you take, you breathe life. You breathe confidence. You breathe your dream. What are you waiting for? This is your life, your story. Don't wait for anyone to say that you can or you can't. Go and jump into your adventure. It is out there waiting for you. Dare to dream big. Be passionate about your life and believe in yourself, even if no one else will. Your dream will come true. You will see it happen in your own mind first and then in front of your eyes. So stop doubting. Dream it, believe it and achieve it. Richest man to ever live, King Solomon, said where there's no vision, the people perish. So for you to be successful, you got to get clear about what you want in life. Because when you have a vision, life stops happening to you, and you start happening to life. You see, clarity is the starting point, the jump off for all personal transformation. Now I'm gonna give you four powerful questions to help get you started. Number one, how do you wanna feel in each area of your life? Number two, what does success mean to you? Define it. Number three, what outcomes will produce that experience? And number four, what goals will initiate those outcomes?